Well, you know, we have gotten a great opportunity all year long. We Are Pioneer Store was our very first headlining tour ever. And uh, so that's the set that we've actually assembled today. And we have the cool opportunity every night of walking out on stage and getting to see the fans' faces. And so um, it's a really neat perspective being up where we are, doing the sing-alongs, seeing their energy. So today, they're going to see what the world looks like tomorrow. Absolutely. You know, it, it's interesting when we're up on stage, we're like, you know, we've never actually seen a Bay and Perry concert from the mm -hmm. seats. And on the other side of that, the fans have never, you know, been on stage and experienced <laughs> what we experience. So this is kind of a day that they get to do that. But they get to talk to our band and crew and kind of ask them questions. And we have to tell them, keep it under, I think, like two minutes. Yeah, our band and they're like, that's not enough time. They so. were really excited to tell, like, some great stories. Yeah. So we didn't get to vet them before, so who knows what kind of stories are going to come out today. <laughs> you know, I think just a uh, huge heart for music. I, I know it's kind of an old cliche at this point, uh, but, you know, music chose us rather than us choosing it. Um, we began when I was 15, Neil was 8 years old, Reed was 10, down in Mobile, Alabama. They had, like, this adorable miniature rock and roll band, all with bowl cuts, matching bowl cuts. They were playing, like, Led Zeppelin covers, you know, before they were even teenagers. And um, I fronted a band of high school boys at my school. And uh, so basically the way that we started working together, their little teeny tiny band would open for me and my guys on the road. And um, we just traveled together since day one and literally put one foot in front of the other and just never quit. And eventually, you know, they always said, if you, if you play everywhere, if you put your whole heart in every performance, eventually the right people are going to hear you and get to elevate you to, uh, to the next level. So gratefully, at some point, about a decade later, uh, that's well, uh, we're actually in the studio. We were in there yesterday cutting background vocals, so working on uh, some new music, but we're on the road as well, so we're bouncing back and forth between uh, shows, you know, on the weekends and back here in Nashville uh, during the weekdays to work on some new stuff. And as far as new sounds, you know, I feel like it's always experimental. Um, for us, each song sort of defines the path, uh, the course of the album. And for whatever reason, we always like to focus on the edges first. We kind of like to live out on the edges and then find the center. And uh, we found some really great songs. Brian mm -hmm. some really great songs for example, about coming together. Well, I guess the th <laughs> we go. all agree. We talk about the same thing. Yeah, you know, I think the way we start an album, we just start writing songs. You know, we we look at life and then we write about it, and then. Uh, after we have a, a group of songs, then we'll pick the three core songs, the songs that we feel would define and make the core of the next album. And then we write around those songs, around the sound of those three songs, and around the subject, too. So um, that's kind of where we are at the moment. We're, we're finding those core songs, and then we'll see where it takes us. Well, and I think it's sort of a funny thing. There always is sort of this theme that grows out of a particular album cycle for us. And an album is a snapshot of where you are in life and in your, uh, you know, your music um, evolution, if you will. And so I feel like those things are beginning to raise to the surface, and that's always an exciting thing to see. And because we all live in such close quarters, we feel the same things. You know, one of us is going through something, all three of us are. And uh, so I think that those themes sort of circle among the three of us. Well, I think our first experience was being stuck in traffic um, <laughs> for CMA Fest years ago before we even got to attend. Yeah, we actually, our first time here was actually as artists, not, well, and as fans, but as artists as well. But we had heard stories about it. And, uh, we play shows everywhere, and I mean, there are people from Australia or Germany who will, you know, this will be their one big vacation for the summer to come to Nashville for a CMA Fest. But I guess the what CMA Fest survival guide would be well, pace yourself. You I know. mean, I feel like it's always the most humid week of the year, no matter what the weather's been up until this one week. <laughs> it's just like humidity just sits on the city, so dress cool. Um, but I also feel like there's a real uh, sense of family during CMA Fest, and both among the fans in the artist community, which is what Nashville is about. It's so fun to talk to people even coming in from New York and LA who are a part of the business and then just really talk about the familial spirit in this city. And so to me, it's about extending that to the fans on this week and uh, enjoying country music all together. Yeah, we uh, we ever had out with Blake. And he was one of the first guys to take us out, so we're kind of going full circle. Except the first time he only gave us six shows. Yeah. So now he's like trusting us with the whole tour. Which <laughs> is very but uh, as far as, uh, you know, uh, headline tour for us. Yeah, we're uh, looking for stuff in the fall and next year as well. And, you know, all that revolves around when we have, you know, new music and new albums out. But we're always playing shows, you know, even during the summer, we're playing lots of uh, fairs and festivals and, you know, everywhere from Canada to California. So we're always out on the road nonstop. Uh, I think our schedule's booked through 2015. So. 
Absolutely, what can be posted? But I think a lot of all of the creative elements of it, even to the part of your question about who are our dream collaborators, it just kind of depends on the spirit of the tour. There's so many great artists out there. Say it like bologna sandwiches and Oreo cookies. Yeah. And we were signing. We, we signed 500 pieces of uh, photo photos today for the event. And so we were like, last night at midnight, we remembered we have to have sign, to sign them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that over uh, Oreos yeah. in two and a half minutes. That got us through 500 day by 10. You know, I have never been a big Pinterester. Is that the correct phrase? <laughs> um, so when it came time to plan a wedding, I had, you know, zero uh, foundation for ideas. So my mother, who of course styles the three of us, were sort of like her blank canvases, um, that has poured over into wedding mode. And so um, we have put all the details in her hands. Um, but, you know, slowly but surely, it, it will happen this summer. Um, we're going to find a day off both of us and sort of meet in the middle. Um, we'll keep your eyes posted.